Hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to be doing a bit more robot building today. Uh, this time we're going to be assembling the rotational wrist. I'll go through all the steps on how we put this together and if you keep watching to the end we'll have a little demo on the wrist moving. These are all the new parts I'm going to be adding to the robot today. Um, with the 3D printed parts we've got rotor wrist 2 and rotor wrist 3, the cable guide and the wrist gears. Um, rotor wrist 1 is already glued onto the forearm. We also have the servo and the servo horn and then with the screws we've got three M3 by 10 screws with three M3 nuts. We've got two M3 by 20 screws to hold the servo in. And then we've got um, one single M3 by 16 millimeter countersunk screw. We're gonna use that to screw the servo horn onto the servo. And then finally, we've got one 2.9 millimeter by 13 millimeter raised countersunk screw that we're gonna to use to secure the rotor wrist three onto the wrist gear. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the servo. You wanna drill these two holes out here at two and a half millimeters. We're gonna be using an M3 screw and that'll just tap into those two holes. Drop the servo down that way. Cable goes down that little groove. Should drop in there quite nicely. And then these two holes here, we've drilled those out to three millimeters so we can drop our three millimeter screw down there. You can see I've got a uh, Rotoris 2 here. I've painted it black. Um, first thing I want to do is install the three nuts into these little recesses. But before I do that, I just need to drill out these holes to three millimeters. Okay, so there you can see the uh, nuts are installed now. Um, I did apply a tiny little amount of heat from the heat gun. Um, you only really want a very small amount of heat and then just tighten them up and the nuts will pull into the recesses. Um, this one's not quite fully gone in but I don't want to push my luck and overdo that. Um, what I will do next is just apply a little bit of super glue onto these because although they're very tight now they do have a tendency to fall out. So a little bit of super glue just to try and hold them in place. Now before we install the uh, gear on top of the servo, we're going to have to cut this servo horn down. So I put a little bit of a uh, thread locker onto that screw there. We need a tiny little bit. This is a uh, thread locker blue, so we should be able to undo this again. Put a little bit of super glue onto the uh, gear. There's a little bit of super glue onto the servo horn. Just pop that on there. Pop the screw in. One thing I forgot to mention is that I did countersink the top of the uh, gear to try and get this screw as low down as possible. Screw that in nice and tight. The next thing to do is to install this large gear into the um, Rotorist 2. I had to sand this down a little bit um, and file out this hole a bit to get this to fit in there. 
um, does now fit in there quite nicely. And then uh, Rotorist 2 um, just slips over the top. You need to locate the little hole in there and that needs to line up with the hole in Rotorist 3. So we just slide that on there. Again, I did file this out a little bit just to make everything a nice fit. So with that hole lined up there, we can then just fit our screw in here. Uh, this is a countersunk screw, 2.9 millimeter by 13 millimeter. I haven't drilled this hole out at all. I'm just gonna put that straight in there. Just like that. I think it probably would have been a little bit more secure if uh, there'd been another screw in the other side as well. But that one screw should hold it. It's rotating nicely now. I've moved to the table so I can actually sit down and do this because this part is a little fiddly. Um, I'm going to thread the fishing lines through this assembly that we've built up. Um, but I just want to point out that we need to be careful which way round this goes. We, we could fit it that way, which would be back to front. And it'd be really annoying when we come to assemble it to find out that we have to pull all these fishing lines out and redo the whole thing. I've taken a look at uh, Gael's photographs, so I believe I've got this correct. Um, we've got this screw here on the same side as the palm of the hand. You see, I've got the palm of the hand facing up, so we've got this screw facing up. And then we've got uh, this little piece that sticks out the side here on the opposite side to the thumb. So hopefully that explains which way around things go. I'll now thread these through. I'll do that off camera because it's going to be a little bit tricky. I've got the first five through. You can see I've tried to keep everything straight. Nothing is crossed over. Um, I'm using the bottom five holes in the hand and I've threaded those through to the bottom five holes in the wrist. Uh, there is a slot just below these. A little tricky to see, but there is a slot under there. I believe that's for a ribbon cable if you're using the finger sensors. But I'm not using the finger sensors. I wanted to keep things a little simple for myself. It will be a nice upgrade later to coming out of the finger sensors. So then we just have to do the next five. And that's the second set of five in place. It's quite satisfying when this thing starts to come together. Um, starting to really feel like a real robot. Even more satisfying when you start to see it move. Okay, so we're gonna do things a little bit differently here. Um, instead of doing all, all the uh, bottom cables and then all the top cables, um, I'm actually gonna work on one finger at a time and do them in pairs. So we'll take the, uh, the first two end cables um, the two at this end um, we'll run them through these two slots here and then they go down there there's two holes over to the left there just in here we'll run those two cables in first See, I've got the second two uh, lines running through there in the next set of holes. I'm not going to show you uh, every pair, but you can see the process. I'm just going to work across from left to right in pairs. And that's all of them. They're all in. Um, nothing's crossed over. Everything is running nice and straight. So the last step is to uh, grease up the gears and then attach the hand onto the forearm, close it up with the screws. I'm just going to loosely bolt the hand on just to 
hold it in place. I'm not going to do it up super tight right now. Um, I didn't mention these at the beginning. I'm using a 65mm M8 bolt with a cap head um, and uh, an M8 half nut. Okay, so I've just applied a little bit of grease around the teeth of the big gear and some grease around the small gear. Tried to get a little bit on top of the gear as well um, because that's going to be rubbing on the inside of the casing. That is the most difficult part of the whole process, closing up this assembly. You kind of have to drop this down here and get the um, back part of it here inside first and then kind of tip it down past the gear on this side. It, it really feels like it's not going to fit. Uh, it's super tight. Um, but if you just wiggle it around, just be careful with it. You can, you find it just pops into place. It really is... Uh, quite a strange assembly to try and put together um, it's very difficult to explain it and I'm sorry I couldn't show it on the camera it's just impossible for me to hold everything um, but that's looking really nice now I'm really happy with that I really do like this satin black that I used um, not quite happy with this bit yet this bit needs repainting um, I'm kind of hoping I don't have to take this apart again because that was so difficult to get together Maybe I can mask that off and, and repaint this bit without having to disassemble it. Um, but that is looking really nice now. The last thing we need to do is is get get it moving. So we need to get our Arduino sketch ready. Um, but I am going to leave this a little bit longer because I want to make sure that that glue definitely is dry. So this is just a very simple Arduino sketch we're going to use to quickly test the wrist. You can see on the first line we're just including the servo library and then we're creating a servo object. We then have our setup function uh, where we're just attaching the servo to pin 9. And then we have our main loop function which will just repeat over and over. And inside there we've got two uh, four loops. So you can see in the first block we're going from 0 degrees to 180 degrees slow and that's just a for loop uh, iterating a counter from 0 to 180 in steps of 1 and inside each iteration we're doing the servo right which just moves the servo to that position and then we have the delay 15 which is a delay of 15 milliseconds between each step and you can see in the second block, we're doing almost the exact same thing, but we're going from 180 degrees to zero degrees fast. So we're actually going backwards this time. And we can see the another for loop there, iterating the counter backwards from 180 to zero in steps of one. And this time in each iteration, we're again doing the servo right to move the position of the servo but this time we're doing a delay of five. So we're only delaying for five milliseconds. So this should in theory be three times as fast as the uh, the block above, um, all things being equal. I'm not actually sure how fast the servo actually moves. Uh, we can't really control that. So we'll upload that onto the Arduino and we'll give it a try. So it does sound a little noisy. Um, when I first turned it on, it was slipping a bit, so I'm guessing the glue has broken on that gear. Um, but the noise it's making, I'd say we need more grease in here. But it is working, albeit a little noisy. I'm just running it off the Arduino Uno. Powered my little LiPo battery. And it's running the sketch we saw earlier.
Okay, at some point I'll have to open that up and try and put a bit more grease in there. But we'll leave that for today. Um, that's essentially the wrist done. Next time we'll move on to connecting up the uh, fishing lines for the fingers. Okay, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.